Hi everyone. So today we are going to discuss about one of the new topic in accounts receivables or uh, I would say like you know. Uh, let me go to the Excel. Yeah. How to review subledger general entries in GL model in Oracle Fusion cloud applications. Okay. So nowadays, like uh, when we are working on uh, any of the subledger models, end of the day, we have to transfer all the subledger transactions to GL model. So that is ultimately end of the task for us, right? So here I am taking a one of the example for subledger model called as a accounts receivables. So initially when we create a, a, a transaction and accounts receivable, then when you run the create accounting, the uh, accounting index will get transferred to GL, right? So then where we can go and see that accounting entry information, the GL. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate in this class. So under the general ledger model, there is a one task called as a review sub ledger journals. Under that, we should provide our uh, sub ledger model and uh, uh, ledger name and uh, status, all these uh, parameters give. And then like click on search tab, we can see all the information related to the specific sub ledger model entries. So let's get into application. So this is the one of the transaction which already I have created in the accounts receivable model. So here you notice it, this is the invoice number and the invoice total value is, this is the invoice total value. And already I did run the credit accounting program. I mean, say, I ran the post to ledger and view accounting also, I have seen it here. Just go and click on view account. So here, as being consultant, we can understand one basic or fundamental of this review accounting here. So firstly, we should understand what is the status of this accounting entry. Status is a final. And uh, here you can notice all the accounting entries lines are available. So here itself, we can understand either this accounting entry has transferred GL or not. So how to see that information in this page? Just click expand the line number one. Under that, we can notice all this information. If this information is available in the transaction account review tab, then it means that if the entry got transferred to GL. That is what the meaning of this information. If you see accounting period, 724, which is nothing but is a July 24, and a general badge, general entry. So sales category. So this is the sales invoice, right? And transfer to GL 71224. It means now if you go and look at this accounting entry in the GL, we should be able to review by general batch name. So that is what we can understand from here itself only. Okay. So let's so this is the one way of that where you can notice it either accounting entry has transferred to GL or not. Okay. And now just go to under tab. So let me pull down here. Yeah. So set up and uh, here you can notice. So take this value as a general batch name and go to search here. So this is the GL application. Go to task panel. Here notice one tab called as a subledger accounting. Under this, we can notice review subledger journals. That is what I mentioned in the Excel sheet here. Review subledger journals. So just click on that. So this is the page where we need to provide the minimum information of the inputs. So ledger is which ledger this accounting entry has created under the which ledger that we have to provide. So as part of the demo, we can provide ES1, I mean, just ES primary ledger. And uh, source is which subledger we have created invoice that is receivables and the date parameter. If you know exactly date, then we can give the date exactly as equal. Or if we want to see the uh, accounting entries for the entire one period, 
then you can choose as a date range between 7.1 to 7.31. And here, status. Status, we have multiple things here. Draft, final, incomplete, invalid, pending approval, unprocessed events. So now I want to see further only which got transferred to GL as a status final. So ideally, this page can use for our month end also, which are the accounting index transferred GL or which are the things pending with the different state of the general entries here. Let's say example, if you want to see uh, something which got invalid, you can choose that. Or if you want to see incomplete kind of uh, uh, accounting entries, then you can choose for that and click on such tab and we can see all the information uh, which was under this bucket. So now let's say example, I want to see only the final which got transferred. Just click on such tab. Here. So here, this is the result came out. So accounting date and the transaction number, uh, general categories, sales invoice, final and the entry description all together. So this is how we can see the general entry of the AR invoice which got created here. This is the line level information with the GL strings of the accounting class and the debit and credit amount here. So this is the one way of the see the subledger balances. Uh, I mean, this is subledger entries in the GL module. And if you want to see more additional information under here, click on transaction summary. So it will take you through that, what exactly are, where the exactly this accounting entries has been transferred. What is the source for that? How should we understand that? Is that just click on view transactions. Once you click on view transaction, it will represent, it will go through the, where exactly the invoice has created. That is coming from the accounts receivable model. Yeah, this is the page which we created an invoice here. So this is how we can review all the information about the air invoice. Just click done, go to again, GL page. This is the GL page again. So this is how we can see the general entries of the subledger models. And additional, additionally, just I want to tell you one more point. So here notice general category. It is showing as a sales invoices, right? Where this exactly picking from the application? What is the, what setup has to have this information in the application? That is, if you go to here, the receivables, there is a tab called as a task name, main is subledger accounting option. If you go and click on that, select your subledger, I mean, this is your ledger name. Yes, primary ledger. Yes, primary ledger, mine ledger name. And click on search. So here, all the subledger got associated with the under this specific le uh, ledger. Those things will be appearing on the screen here. Okay, now pick up which model you want to see that. In our demo, I see accounts receivable model. Just look for that. Yes, here it is. Click on accounting options. Yes. So here, this page is the capabilities to capture the, that information which I shown in the general entry page. Here it is. General categories under the event class is the invoice. If any of the year invoice getting created by using the event class as an invoice, those things will pass under the this category, sales invoice category. So that is coming here. Sales, this is the one. General category is coming from this setup. So this is the linkage setup of the transactions. If you create air invoice as debit memo, it will come as a category debit memo. If it is credit memo, it will be shows as the credit memo in the subledger general category here. So that is how we can understand the this setup as well as. I hope you you got very good information about this how to view subledger transactions or subledger accounting entries in the GL model. Thanks for watching my video. 
please do subscribe and say uh, like it and share with the peers also. Yeah, thank you.